Nabalum cat versus Chartreux cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Nabalum looks much like the elegant yet muscular Russian blue, but with a thick, shimmering, medium length coat. Their general appearance is that of a long, sturdy, well muscled cat. The Nabalum stands out for its luxurious coat and striking color. A medium length double coat covers the body, increasing in length from the shoulder to the tail. The International Cat Association breed standard for the Nabalum calls for them to have a modified wedge-shaped head that is more pointed than rounded, although his long hair may give the head a rounded look. Large ears are wide at the base with pointed tips, and rich, deep green eyes have a slightly oval shape and are set wide apart. Kittens may have yellowish-green eyes, but by the time they are two years old, they should have developed into the vivid green of maturity. A long, slender neck sometimes looks shorter than it actually is because of the Nabalum's dense fur. The body is what's called semi-foreign, meaning it is moderate in shape, falling somewhere between the short, compact body of breeds such as Persians and the sleek angles of oriental breeds such as the Siamese. It is athletic but not bulky, with a medium bone body that is well proportioned. Supporting the body are long, medium bone legs set on medium size, well-rounded oval paws with generous tufting between the toes. The Nabalung looks as if they're walking on the balls of their feet. Their tail is at least as long as their body from shoulder blades to the rear end, covered in fur that is longer than the body hair. The coat typically does not develop fully until the cat is two years old. It is thicker, longer, and softer in winter. Chartreux has the sturdy, powerful body of a working cat wrapped in a short, thick, water-repellent coat. Besides his beautiful fur, his most distinctive feature is his deep orange eyes, set in a rounded, broad head. He has full cheeks and a sweet, smiling expression. Medium-sized ears sit high on the head. His body type is sometimes described as primitive, being husky and robust with broad shoulders and a deep chest. His relatively short and fine-boned legs rest on round, medium-sized paws that look almost dainty. A lively, flexible tail is heavy at the base, tapering to an oval tip. Don't let his ample body and solid muscle mass fool you. This is a supple, agile cat who typically weighs 7 to 16 pounds at maturity. Pick him up and you may be surprised by his heft. Chartreux grow slowly and males especially may not reach their full size until they are 4 or 5 years old. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Nabalung has a reputation as a gentle, quiet cat, somewhat shy, but don't get the wrong idea. This cat may have a reserved nature, but they love to play being especially fond of retrieving and enjoy jumping or climbing to high places where they can study people and situations at their leisure before making up their mind about whether they want to get involved. Guests will not receive this cat's immediate attention and may never see them unless they decide the humans are worthy of their notice, but toward family members, especially their favored person, the Nabalung is ever loyal, following them through the house and even riding on a shoulder. The Nabalun is a sensitive cat who doesn't like to be ignored and will be hurt if they don't receive the same amount of affection they give. Lack of attention can cause them to become anxious or fearful. While the Nabalun loves your company, they're capable of entertaining themselves during the day while you are at work. Unlike some active, intelligent breeds, they're not destructive but move through the house with the lithe grace of a Russian ballerina. When you are at home, their subtle sense of humor and manual dexterity will never fail to entertain. Just make sure you laugh with them, not at them. They have a strong sense of self-worth and don't like being made fun of. This is a cat who does best in a quiet, stable environment. They don't like change, and it's especially important to them that meals arrive on time. Count on them to be a faithful alarm clock in the morning not so you don't miss work, but so they don't miss a meal. If you take the time to develop a relationship with a Nabalone, your reward will be a deep bond with this loving cat. Chartreux might well be compared to a mime, silent but communicative and sometimes silly. Short playtimes interspersed with naps and meals are his idea of the perfect day. When he is not displaying his superb timing and pouncing ability, killing toys with abandon, or performing acrobatic flips as he chases a lure toy, he is an attentive and gentle companion who likes to stay near his people and observe their doings. He appreciates any attention he receives, especially if it involves scratching him beneath the chin or between the ears, but he's not demanding, content to follow you around devotedly, sleep on your bed and snuggle with you if you're not feeling well. He rarely uses his voice, preferring to direct your actions with a glance from his pumpkin-colored eyes. If need be, however, he may communicate with a small meow or chirp. Make a habit of observing him carefully and being familiar with his actions since it is unlikely that he will vocalize any discomfort or make any sound to let you know where he is. 
This is an adaptable cat with a middle of the road personality. He's not a social butterfly, but he's not a shy wallflower either. Expect him to watch and wait before deciding whether to greet a guest or otherwise involve himself in a situation. His calm nature makes him suited to staying home alone while you are out earning the money for his treats and toys, but he won't object to keeping company with another cat or dog. That same good nature makes him a good travel companion for an RV enthusiast or long distance truck driver. As long as you keep his routine similar each day, he will be a happy camper. Chartreux has a sunny, polite disposition that makes him a pleasure to live with. This is one cat who does his best to obey the rules. Always treat him kindly and patiently, and you will be rewarded with a friend for life. Nabalung's long, dense coat should be combed twice a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Chartreux short, Thick coat is easy to care for with weekly brushing. The coat sheds in the spring and may require extra brushing during that time. A bath is rarely necessary. If your chartreux does require a bath, remember that it can take time to get the water repellent coat wet enough for bathing. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly teeth brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. They are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep their coat clean as well. It's a good idea to keep Nabalung and Chartreux as indoor-only cats to protect them from catching diseases spread by other cats, suffering attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Nebelungs and Chartreux who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for one. The tolerant and gentle Nebelung and Chartreux fit nicely in a home with children. They are more likely to walk away than to scratch if they don't like the way they are being handled. Parents with young children should always supervise interactions to make sure the cat isn't mistreated. They are happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.